All right, so let's set sail on the last portion of the machine project, MP3. Um, so the first uh, two parts, so I've, I've got the test suites. We're going to, you know, grab the test suites, move them into place in the usual way. And as usual, there's a couple of things that are going to break right off the bat. Uh, so if I open up the MP3 tests, uh, you're going to see that there's a couple of methods I need to stub out before things will work. Um, and these are methods on this related restaurant class that we created last time, and we're going to continue work, keep working on. Uh, so I'll go ahead and, and, and just we'll stub these out together. So the first one uh, returns a list of restaurant, uh, and that's called, uh, let's see here, get related in order. So get related in order. Uh, it takes a string, and I'm going to call that restaurant ID, and that's the one that we're working on right now. Um, the next uh, the, the next method is called uh, get connected to that returns a set of restaurants. We may need to import we may need to import that class. Um, and again, so in this case, I'll just return a new hash set. Uh, I could return null in these cases, but it's probably better to not um, so that I can um, you know, oh, oh no, oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, I don't know. it's like one of the worst features of uh, Android Studio is its, its tendency to create whole list implementations for you if you hit the wrong button. Okay, um, all right, so I've got these stubbed out. Let's go back to MP3 test and see if this is gonna compile for me, and it is. So, so, so this time, you know, our, our stub out tests are, are pretty straightforward. Let's talk a little bit about what you have to do for get related in order. So last time we have this method called get related. Get related returns us a map, so it's given a restaurant ID, and it uses this preference information that we parsed in the constructor, in, in the case of uh, my, my solution, um, to return a map of all the restaurants that are related to the restaurant whose ID is passed to the method. Get related in order is going to use that information. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a list of restaurants. And then what we're gonna do is sort that list based on the strength of the relationship. And so let me give you a little bit of a, a solution sketch here. I'm not gonna write the code for you, um, but, but here's, here's my suggestion, right? So the first thing you need to do is check the restaurant ID. This is supposed to throw an legal argument exception if it's not valid. Um, now, one thing you might need to do here um, as, as we go through is, uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is retrieve the related restaurants and I have a method that does that using get related. So I can essentially pass the string to get related and I get a map back. Now, the map keys are restaurant IDs, but what I really need here is I need a list of restaurants. So somehow I need to uh, convert the list of restaurant IDs uh, to a list of restaurants. And this is a place where it's actually really nice to have a map from restaurant ID to restaurant. And so I might, if I were you, establish a map here, uh, which I'll call restaurant uh, restaurant uh, map. And I'll, I'll initialize that as we some of us have been bit by that recently. And then in the constructor, I'm gonna need to go ahead and actually populate that. I'm not gonna show you how to do that because my constructor has solution code in it, uh, but you would need to set this up so that it allows you to map from a restaurant ID to a restaurant object. Um, so I use that to uh, convert the list of restaurant IDs to a list of restaurants. And now I need to sort it properly. And that's the fun part, right? So that's the part where you get to use sort of the some of the practical sorting tips that we've uh, provided. Um, now, this is a two, you're gonna need to do a two pass sort because it needs to be, the items in the front should have, are be, should be the ones that have the highest score based on that map of related restaurants that you retrieve. And then within each group, they should be sorted by name. And so uh, there are, you know, uh, please don't implement a sort by hand to do this. If you find yourself like implementing insertion sort or something like that, uh, don't, uh, this is not the right way to do it. You know, um, use the built-in sorting capabilities of Java to solve this problem for you. You might need to write some code that might make you a little uncomfortable because there might be some Lambda expressions in, in here or something like that, uh, but that's okay. That's part of uh, today's task is to get you comfortable with actual sorting patterns that you would use for real to sort things in Java. So sort of a, a nice way to get started on MP3. Good luck on this. As always, you know where to find us when you need help.